Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the LA Girl Holidays eyeshadow palette. If you do want to see a review and a demo, then please keep watching. As a huge favor, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below. I greatly appreciate it. I read all the comments and I will do my best to reply back. LA Girl came out with two different palettes, the Holidays palette, which is this palette, and then the Hollis Slay palette. If you have not seen my review on that palette, I'll leave it right over here in the cards if you guys are interested. This palette retails for $14.99 at Ulta Beauty, but I purchased mine when it was on sale for $11.99. I do want to read a little bit about this palette on Ulta's website. It does say, you're invited to an unforgettable holiday glam with the LA Girl Holidays eyeshadow collection. Two 16 color eyeshadow palettes transform your look with glimmering shimmers and velvety matte eyeshadows that will have you dazzling through the night. These eyeshadow palettes have 18 shadows in them, not 16. I'm not sure why Ulta hasn't fixed that typo yet. It's definitely 18 eyeshadows. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. It says LA Girl 18 shadows. On the back of the packaging, you have a picture of the color story and the shade names. There's some application tips, and then there's the ingredients. Down at the bottom, it says that this eyeshadow palette was designed in the USA, but made in China, and this has a 36-month shelf life. This is just a plastic sleeve. It slides right on out. Here's what the actual eyeshadow palette looks like. And again, here's what the back looks like. On the actual packaging, I can feel the glitter texture, and these are eventually going to fall off. That's what happened to my pink palette. The eyeshadow palette does come with a pretty big, decent sized mirror. Here's what all 18 shades look like. I'm gonna remove this plastic sleeve. Here's a better look of the shades. The first shade in the palette is called Eggnog. Very soft in the pan. The next shade is called Invite. Next up we have Sequin. The next shade is called Energy. That green is stunning. Next up we have Naughty. The last shade in the top row is called Stiletto. The shimmers in this palette are stunning. The first shade in the second row is called Sleek. Next up we have Guest List. The next shade is called Soiree. That purple is gorgeous. Next up we have Tipsy. The next shade is called Tinsel. Tinsel is beautiful as well. The next shade is called All Nighter. The first shade in the last row is called Champagne. Another beautiful shimmer. The next shade is called Drink Up. Wow, another pigmented shade. The next shade is called Night Out. The next shade is called Cheers. The second to last shade is called Disco Ball.
The last shade in the palette is called LBD, which stands for Little Black Dress. Here's what all 18 eyeshadows look like swatched on the back of my hand. Now we're going to create a look using this palette. Taking a clean fluffy brush, I'm going to dip into the shadow in Guest List. Apply this all over my crease going back and forth using windshield wiper motions. This formula is very pigmented. You don't need a lot of product on your brush. That shadow blended out very easily. I'm doing the same thing for the other eye. Taking a flat brush, I'm going to dip into the shadow in Eggnog. Pack this all over the lid. Using my finger, I'm going to dip into the shadow in All Nighter. Pack this shadow in the center of my lid. Using my finger, I'm going to dip into the shade in Soiree. Pack this shadow on my outer V. I'm getting a little bit of fallout. Again, taking my finger, I'm going to dip into the shadow in Energy. Applying this in the inner portion of my eye. Wow, that really brightened up the look. Taking my flat brush, making sure there's no harsh lines. I lost a little bit of that shade in Guest List. Going back in with that first brush, taking the shade in Guest List. Again, going back and forth in the crease using windshield wiper motions. I love how fun the eye look turned out. For mascara, I'm going to apply the Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara. I love this volumizing mascara as well from Essence. I tried the Essence Princess Mascara for the first time and I really do like both of these mascaras. I prefer the one in the green tube versus the volumizing mascara. I just don't like the wand. On top we have the volumizing mascara. That's the one that I just used. I prefer the one in the green tube. I just like the wand way better. For lips, I'm going to apply the Maybelline Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade More Mocha. This is from their Neo Neutrals collection. If you have not seen my review on these lipsticks, I'll leave it right over here in the cards if you guys are interested. Here's what everything looks like. My final thoughts on this eyeshadow palette is that I really do like it. I like the color story in this palette. You have your neutral shades and then you have your pops of color. This palette can be a great transition from daytime to nighttime. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.